All right, welcome to my channel. This is Lock Chuck. Um, not picking a lot today. I'm just uh, hopefully in preparation for my red belt. One of the requirements is to make a specialized tool. So, not exactly sure of the exact requirements for that, but what I have here is hoping that some of this will count toward that. Um, so, one of the first things that I started making in lock picking was um, I started making my own picks. So I did buy a couple from some major companies and I kind of wanted some bigger handles, kind of have a carpal tunnel problem, so I needed something thicker. So I started making my own handles and this was one of the first ones I made. Well, I started adding my own handles to custom picks and then I started making my own picks too so this one right here is a 30 thousandths copy of a monkey paw that i made specifically for when i was getting started picking master locks because being new you, you tend to bend a lot of hooks so i made a thick monkey paw so i would stop bending so many picks um all these other ones are different these are like 23 thousandths um variations of like a, a a gym standard you know standard hook there's another copy of a monkey paw then these are 15 thousandths copies of them there's a another copy of a monkey paw a little bit of a gym two low hooks um and then i made my own bypass knife um i don't believe this one's i can't remember if it's 30 or 50 thousand oh, excuse me 30 or 25 thousandths but made my own little bypass knife and cut all the the handle material and I was having issues with the epoxy so I started drilling and adding uh, brass rods and kind of making rivets out of them which which is a fun it's a, one of the fun aspects of lock picking then the other thing I, I started doing was making my own tensioners the first ones I made were out of music wire didn't have really much luck with music wire. I, I just couldn't get a flat surface like I wanted. So I saw some videos online about people using ordinary stuff from the dollar store and I found a stainless steel butcher knife. Uh, I tried to make a ergo turner out of that type of keyway. That one, yeah, it didn't work out like I was hoping. But what did work out was I made a top of a keyway just for the American 1100 series. It fits snug, won't fall out, and I can I have complete control. Um, this was also an attempt for it that got messed up, but I still kept it. Uh, it was too, ended up breaking the tip. I think I tried to heat it and anneal it and ended up breaking the tip. So I learned my lesson and just made it for another type of keyway um, for other locks. And this ends just a wider, I didn't file it down the fit the American lock but I can use it as a wider tensioner. Sometimes you need a wider tensioner based off the keyway. This is my latest one that I made. This one originally was was made for the West 916. Um, I started on that side and was, was, was using like a little v-groove for my flag to stay in. That wasn't really working out so i swapped to the other side just left it square flat that worked great it helped me get through the 916 and i went over to when i started on the v18 i was like well, if it helped on it it should help on the v18 well the problem is the v18 has some key profile pins or i'm assuming the key profile versus anti-drill because there's nothing really behind them to drill but i had to file a little bit of the champ for the top corners just to get by those profiles but once i did that i was able to get the v18 with this and now this in i'm kind of i'm using it trying to get a couple different locks with it it's i'm using it on i think trying it on the kaba ace and the tri key um just using that so they're not tension these are this one is made out of a plate of stainless steel that was given to me um that is a i want to say it's either eight or three sixteenths thick stainless steel um so 
There's not much bending of this. It's all cutting and filing. Um, and my fact, some grinding has this sailor steel is tough on grinding too. All right, so I covered these. I think next I went to, I wanted to pick lever locks. So I made, started originally with just music wire and I made these two, made my tensioner here and everything. And I was having trouble, you know, keeping my tension in and everything. And when I start moving this, I was bumping tension. So I, I moved up, made some brass handles out of a, a scrap piece of brass I had laying around. Um, and originally this was the one I got my fortress with, with this bent, his music wire bent to be a tensioner. But I also cut this groove here, so when I applied tension, I could just slip my pick in, and I ended up getting the uh, ERA Fortress with this. So that's another one. Uh, this is a work in project. This is, I'm waiting on some more parts, the injector pin, so I can finish out my, I made this from aluminum tubing, aluminum tubing, and then just bar aluminum. This is going to be my... Um, disc detainer pick as soon as I get the rest of the parts in where I can finish it up hopefully I'm going to set it up where I can do top of keyway tension bottom of keyway middle of keyway the abloy classics all of that I want to make all those tips for this so that's the current project with that in progress I don't think I covered these these are the next two impressioning handles uh, I've kind of that's kind of gone to the side after I got Lady Locks. I didn't make one complete, or made two complete. The first prototype kind of got, I ended up tightening these two tight and bending it out. This ended up flaring out. So I made a second one, which got sent to Lady Locks, but before it got sent out, it was heat hardened here and then annealed in an oven. So it would not um, be a little bit stronger, a little more tensile strength after all this cutting and everything because this is the weakest point is when you're applying tension out this so it needed some hardening and then i nailed it so it wouldn't be so brittle but those are my next two and i'm getting ready to get back impression in for myself for hopefully for one of my quests um and then i got um the rook knight showed his acrylic followers and I really love that idea. So I, I bought some of the acrylic off of online. Uh, problem is it's all half, well, you can get it in different sizes, but the main ones is half inch and three quarters of an inch. So I got three quarter and half inch and ended up turning them down smaller and polishing them for like the American locks and stuff, the smaller cores. And this is actually come in handy um, with the Kaba Ace, it fits that. And I'm doing, these are all different, actually, it's hard to tell, but these are different thicknesses. So just a little bit of variation because some locks are a little different. Um, and trying to put the different ends on them. So, but that's, did those. Um, and then preparing for this, I made this last night. It's It was a piece of bar steel that ended up drilling a long hole in. And then it's about a seven millimeter piece. I drilled a five millimeter hole in it. Um, and then I ground this off. And what this is for is when I get ready to start picking the abloys, the classic and the profile, you have to turn the disc. I made this as a disc turner so I can turn all the discs in one direction. So that's what this is. And I believe I can also use it on the classic being that half moon instead of being a half moon it's just like a c shape or smiley face whatever so that's the last one and i did ended up i like messing with different stuff so i ended up bluing the metal just to see what kind of look it got so that is a i did finish it put blue bluing on it so anyway that's just a um oops, there's another one i probably didn't finish that but um just some ideas and this I'm probably going to try to use this as my smittle when I go for my rid. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. Have any questions about any of the stuff I made? Feel free to reach out to me on YouTube or on Discord. All right. Have a good day.